Hi guys, I've recently written serial terminal support into the core memory module uh, from code I wrote last year for the 16F877 and dropped into this chip nicely. Uh, the setup I've got here, I'm projecting a terminal screen from this computer uh, inside a bookshelf over here where I can sit the memory module uh, on a, a little platform here and you can see the commands and the replies going on behind the module from the camera which will be sitting here. Um, these are the commands used to read and write memory. Uh, you've got a core dump and then to write data you've got your data and a string of 8 bytes. The checksum there is uh, the CS has to be typed but the checksum isn't yet implemented so that I can type for this demo. Uh, when the module gets connected to another machine then I will implement the checksum and might make these commands a bit simpler and more computer friendly. There's the projected serial terminal. Uh, you might hear some projector noise. Here's the terminal screen projection. Uh, I'll power up the memory. And I have got it working as EEPROM, so it will retain data after a power cycle. Um, and I have written some data, so I'll uh, retrieve that now. You should be able to see the LED flashing just there. Okay, there's my data, and for the, uh, the, the software in the module, I didn't rewrite that, so I've got the whole unit acting like core memory, and that's a destructive read. So if I type enter again, that'll repeat that command. Um, this time I should get all zeros. Okay. Um, I'll try and uh, try another data. Okay, and to retrieve that. Oh, it was all there, you'll have to trust me. This terminal program is really quite useless. It doesn't scroll, and when the cursor gets to here, uh, no matter how big the window is, which is really quite small here, uh, it stops responding, uh, so I've got to stop this video, clear the screen and start it again. It's quite hopeless. Okay, this is a new session and uh, I brought these magnets to demonstrate uh, that, that it can actually interfere with the memory write or read, uh, but they're actually too weak and I have to use the back of a speaker with its permanent magnet, but I'll set up some data to write. <laughs> I'll wave the speaker around above the module. Okay, so the light's flashing now and I'm waving the speaker around. It says it's written, so it'll do the dump. And we're reading back. Do we get the same data? What do you know? We did. I guess I didn't try hard enough. Let's go again. <laughs>
Let's try that again. Now I'm waving the speaker around trying to make a, a changing magnetic field. So we'll do the dump. Oh, there we have some corrupted data. Like we have zeros and like some bits of zeros and just weren't set to one because the FF value is all ones. Um, just goes to show keep your uh, magnets away from your core memory. And clear again. So all in all when I connect this whole module to another device if I want the memory retained, I have to read it and then write it again uh, with the device that's controlling this entire unit. Um, so I've made this very much... I could have just made the microcontroller <laughs> uh, rewrite the memory, but I thought I might as well have it behaving as it's supposed to. Cheers.